हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स वर्ल्ड माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर एस एन गुजर वर्किंग एज एन प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट भीराबाई सावंत कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग नरे सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ द इन कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स द पॉलीगॉन द पॉलीगॉन इज गोइंग टू वर्क मीन्स वॉट पॉलीगॉन मीन्स वॉट एंड पॉलीगॉन रीडिंग हाउ कैन रीड ऑल द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द पॉलीगॉन एंड पॉलीगॉन फिलिंग बाय यूजिंग डिफरेंट मेथड्स ओके now the any close figure any close figure that you can consider as an polygon but the number of vertices that required the number of vertices required is 3 okay now see that i have shown the figure over here that is the one type of the polygon is the concave and another one is the convex so these are the two types of the polygon so can you see the difference in between these two figures what the difference is that see so there is the regular type of all the figure that is the polygons okay means uh, you may say that is the triangle rectangle square pentagon hexagon octagon so these are all the regular figure now see the concave suppose the concave i have said so that is a different arrow but that's all the close but how can calculate the difference in between these two suppose suppose i have consider any two point okay any two point that are inside the polygon and that join with this two line so this entire line inside the polygon means what this is become a convex type of polygon and see in the concave so in the concave suppose i have considered any two point and then join this line some part of the line is goes to the outside so that is called as a concave so this is the way that you can find out the difference so what is the coordinate that you have to read and store see that's how show in op and xy so that is the op and xy that is my output point and xy is the coordinates that have shown this one of the polygon with the value suppose i have start with the 1 1 so that is my starting is uh, a b c d 1 1 then 2 point i have show that is 3 2 uh, 5 4 and 3 7 and i have again put this 1 1 so what this close figure so i have start with the a b c d and a so this is the way that you can read one by one coordinate and then store but how you can read so by using number of vertices this is called as the number of vertices so here the number of vertices is 4 number of vertices is 4 that i have read and store in the n now that uh, must be uh, not uh, less than 3 okay that you have to put the condition so that's why that's not the less than 3 read this point by using the for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than is equal to suppose 3 uh, n n i have considered the number of vertices i plus plus so that i is equal to i plus 1 you can use so enter the point enter the point and that you have to store in c in c c in i have put this p value so what this p value p of i 0 and p of i 1 so that i0 and i1 what is this indicate the i0 indicate is my x coordinates and i1 indicate is my y coordinates so this is 0 and y that you have to put the difference for x and y coordinates and close this for loop and see in the last after closing the for loop i have again put p of i0 is equals to that p of 00, 0 and p of uh, uh, i1 is equals to p of 0 1 so last point to the first point i have initialized and i have again used the for loop here i have to use the for loop for what that i am going to draw this polygon one for loop that read the polygon another for loop that you have to draw the polygon so how you can draw the polygon by using line simple line in build function you use there so i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus then line i have used what p of i 0 okay uh, p of i 1 and p of i plus 1 0 p of i plus 1 1 so this is my x1 y1 x2 y2 because of four parameter you have to pass four parameter you have to pass in the line so that i have not using any curly bracket why because of only the single line statement i am using once this completed then again i am using the last one is what p of i0 p of i1 to p of 0 0 0 1 means last point to the first point so this is the way that you can read all the coordinates and draw the polygon now the another method that i am showing that how you can find out the inside point and outside point of the polygon so these are the two methods are there that is one even odd method and second winding number method so what is this even odd method suppose i have considered any inside point any inside point of the polygon and draw the straight line so that straight line intersect that straight line intersect to the one edge three edge okay five edge means what these are all my which number these are all my odd number suppose that intersections come odd these are all intersection come odd value so that all value indicate is what that point is inside okay suppose that all the odd values are coming that is the point is inside now how you can check the outside 
suppose this is one polygon I have considered triangle and this is the point is outside and then again I am going to draw the line. So, that is intersect to the 2 times means that is the starting edge and ending edge means what this is 2 is your even number ok. So, that even number indicate this is my point is outside the polygon. Now, winding number method again. So, winding number so that you have to increase with the x plus 1 direction, x minus 1 direction, y plus 1 direction, y minus 1 direction. So, all these edges x plus 1, y plus 1, x minus 1, y minus 1 intersects to the edge of the polygon means that is inside. So, that is why I have shown this in the figure. See another figure that show the again inside and now see the outside. So, only one edge that intersect remaining 3 is not intersecting. Now, come for the filling the that is a 3 4 method is for filling the polygon that is first one seed fill algorithm, second one boundary fill algorithm or edge fill algorithm you can say then flood fill algorithm and scan line fill algorithm. Now, come for the seed fill algorithm. So, that is I have shown the different colors are there and then the neighbor pixel. So, suppose I have considered any pixel. So, color I want to. So, that is the gate pixel. Gate pixel return the integer data type solution. So, that is why I have written color is equal to gate pixel x y. So, x y there are the two parameter you have to pass in gate pixel. In put pixel you have to pass three parameter x y and color. So, that uh, shows the color of all the pixel. This is my input polygon and this is my output polygon after filling. So, what is this seed fill algorithm? Seed fill algorithm work in recursive method. So, first of all you have to learn what is mean by recursive. Recursive means what? Function, the function itself called in the function is called as the recursive function. So, this I have using in this algorithm. So, that is called as the recursive function. See that how you read the enter the number of vertices of the polygon and enter uh, all these things and you have to draw the polygon. Once you draw the polygon then you have seen enter the inside point that you have to store uh, in x y. So, that is why I use the c in x y go for the old color, old color is my gate pixel. So, old color gate pixel x y. Now, come for the new color that the color you are going to fill up it in seed fill you have to use the old color and new color these are the two parameter. In the red that I have shown my function name that is the seed fill. What are the parameter you have to pass in seed fill x y ok and then my new color and old color. So, these are the four parameter you have to pass these are the four parameter you have to pass in seed fill. Now, how you can consider this opening curly bracket and then color is equals to get pixel x y color is equals to get pixel x y start if color is not equals to new color and then color is equals to is equals to old color. What is the condition? If color is not equals to new color and color is equals to is equals to old color that time you have to fill up it ok. This is the condition you have to use means that is inside the polygon and that is condition is true. Now, once this condition is true that you have to use the put pixel, put pixel x y with the new color. Now, same again I am using in the red color that is the function name. I am calling this function with four times x plus 1 y with my uh, new color old color x y plus 1 old color uh, that is uh, new color old color and then uh, x y plus uh, x y uh, x minus 1 y and then x y minus 1. So, that is the four times I am calling that is if condition red and then ending with my what the uh, seed fill algorithm. Now, come for the edge fill algorithm then. So, edge fill algorithm you have to use here same way that you have to read the new color and then edge color here you have to pass the edge color of the polygon and see that I have used in the blue color. So, edge color ok what is the edge fill is my name of the function here you have to pass x y that is my new color and uh, edge color. So, what is the condition here? So, color is equals to get pixel x y that is my old color suppose that I have put in color. So, what is the condition if color not equals to new color and and color is not equals to edge color ok. What is the condition that you have to use color not equals to uh, new color and and color is uh, not equals to edge color. So, that time you have to fill up it. So, put pixel and again you have to call with x plus 1, y plus 1, x minus 1, y minus 1 this is the 4 value. Now, come for the last one that is the flood fill. So, why I am using this 3? So, here you have to consider edge as a different, but in a flood fill the edge of the all means the different edges means suppose one edge in the blue color, second is the yellow color, blue color, green color. So, these are the colors you have to use in flood fill. So, what is the conditions over here? Just you have to read the inside point x y 
then uh, set as an old color what is uh, that is get pixel x y new color that you have to set in is a new color that is suppose the 2 I am using flood underscore fill I am using here the function name because of flood fill is one of the inbuilt function that is not going to um, uh, that is the track. So, that is why using a flood underscore fill. So, what are the parameters you have to pass x y new color old color. Now, go for what is the condition here simple one condition I am using color is equals to is equals to old color. What I mean with the color that I have using that is equals to is equals to old color that time you have to fill up it. Okay. Now, once you have fill up it then go for calling with the x plus 1, y plus 1, x minus 1, y minus 1. So, that is the four step you have to again call. So, this is the way that you can utilize your flood fill algorithm. So, that is all about our flood fill algorithms. Okay. So, thank you very much for listening. Thank you.